Hi, I'm Andy Glass with WorkshopAddict.com. In a past build series, we built some cedar and steel tables for a local bar. Click the card in the corner or the link in the description if you'd like to watch that series. But they had some old slate chalkboards that they picked up from an old school here in North Dakota and asked us to build a frame with a similar style as the tables we built earlier. So here's what we've come up with. It's wrapped with one and a half inch square steel tubing and then some nice rustic cedar trim on the inside. Now between the steel, the cedar, and the slate chalkboard, this thing's extremely heavy. So we've uh, had some uh, heavy duty welded bolts on the back to hang the unit. Let's go ahead and get started. We first grab our inch and a half square tubing and bring it to our dry cutting 12 inch skill saw. This is a metal cutting blade rather than a grinding disc. It makes a super clean cut with minimal sparks and almost zero heat into the part. We set our saw's fence to 45 degrees and make our cuts. Over at our light duty welding table, we clamp the parts using the holes in the table and some dog clamps. Check that it's square and then tack it in place. We then flip it over and tack the opposite side of the joint and then weld it up. Then utilizing our Hitachi variable speed grinder and a flap disc, we grind away our welds and have a super smooth joint. Here you can see a close up shot. We focus on the weld first and then the entire joint and feather it nice and smooth. We need a spot for the slate chalkboard panel to rest against and also have something to put our construction adhesive on. Similar to the tabletops we built for the same client, we use a flat bar stock and weld it in place. This creates a solid registration and a recess for the slate to fall into. With all the steelwork welded up and ground smooth, we need to clean it off. We use brake cleaner and some shop powels to get all the residue off. Next we need to blacken the steel. We use a Jax blackening agent and we purchased this on Amazon and there will be a link in the description. Applying it is super simple. We just use a cheap chip brush and then we wipe off the excess. You can see it causes an instant chemical reaction with the steel and instantly turns it black. A gorgeous look and a nice contrast to the slate and cedar that we're going to put on in a bit. With the steel drawing we can work on the cedar. We take a rough sawn board from our cedar milling project and cut it to one and a quarter inch strips at the table saw. The strips are thin so we use a push stick to get it all the way past the blade. We then load up our HVLP spray gun with some semi-gloss lacquer and dial in the spray pattern and amount of material that's being released. We spray three to four coats on both the steel frame and the cedar. We should note we have both bay doors open, there's nice airflow in the shop so all this uh, overspray is being carried out of the shop. With the lacquer dry, we can apply some construction adhesive to the flat bar we welded onto the steel frame and then drop in this chalkboard slate. The tape was there to help prevent scratching and also getting construction adhesive on the metal. At the miter saw, we can cut the 45 degree joints on our cedar parts. We first cut the end joint at the miter saw. and then we bring it over to the actual frame itself and mark the end position of the cut. We then head back to the miter saw and use our zero clearance insert and match it up to the mark we made. This is a perfect 100% accurate cut. So once the first one gets put in place, we repeat the process by butting the next 45 degree joint to the last 45 degree joint of the last part and work our way around the frame. It's a slow and tedious process, but the results are perfect. Once all the parts are cut, we can apply some construction adhesive to the slate and also the steel, and we can put the parts in place and secure them with some spring clamps. Well, what'd you guys think? I thought the chalkboards turned out great. They are a bit heavy, but they just really uh, match the restaurant's decor and the cedar tables that we built earlier. I like the shadow lines that the different steps and thickness of both the steel, the table, and the chalkboard. I think it really turned out nice. The chalkboards have a really nice deep weather to it. They've been used for I don't know how many years in the old school where the local bar picked them up from, but they're just absolutely gorgeous. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them below. I'd be happy to provide some feedback and answer any questions you may have. 
We strongly encourage you to follow us on social media as we do product review updates, project updates, just like this chalkboard uh, frame, and then also exclusive social media giveaways. I'm Andy Glass with Workshop Attic. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.